Hey there, welcome back. Uh, this is a Wear Games video for TechIt. Once again, we're talking about how to build a macerator today. Uh, so this is part of a series where we're looking at building an energy condenser loop to create all kinds of energy for your TechIt world. So this is the second part. Uh, the first part we talked about uh, the EC generator and how to build an EC generator, more importantly. Um, the idea behind these videos is that a lot of times the videos people make don't show you how to actually do things. They just kind of go, this is how I built mine. And so that's great. But if you actually want to walk through the steps, then this is the place for you. So um, here we go. So this is our little, this is my little factory. You can see I got kind of cool lights and everything all over the place. So last time we worked on building uh, the EC generator and it's one of the two main components. The other main component is the macerator, which is one of the machines in TechIt, of course. So uh, to build that, we need all kinds of fun stuff. So we need flint. We need some cobblestone. We're going to need a uh, machine block. And we're going to need uh, a circuit. Now, the fun part is that some of these things are easy to find and to get, of course. The flint is easy to get. The cobblestone is easy to get. Uh, the flint, of course, comes from gravel when you mine it. Uh, cobblestone is everywhere. If you don't know how to find cobblestone, you might want to pick a new game. I don't know. Uh, I'm just kidding. And then the uh, refined iron, uh, if you haven't done this yet before, is just basically created by putting some iron in a furnace. Put an iron block in a furnace and we've got some charcoal here that we made last time so we could just use that and so uh, once you're further in the game a lot of these things can be created in your uh, energy condensers refined iron can't it's always got to be made you can see there's no emc value in the number there see this one has the emc of 256. so basically if we create uh, eight blocks of refined iron. I put 10 in there, but we only need 8. Uh, we can then create uh, a machine block. And really, it's just a block of refined iron. So we will walk you through this. It's a little bit slow, but that's what it takes. Um, really, with the macerator, the trickier part is powering it, uh, creating a generator of some kind to power it and it's not really that tricky so we'll show you how all this stuff works but there's a lot of basic parts and you'll reuse a lot of those basic parts as you go so here we go we need one more and we're actually going to need nine all together because uh, we're going to need one to make the uh, electronic circuit so uh, the recipes for all the stuff we're making uh, can be found online I use the TechIt Classic Wiki it's a really good resource it's got lots of diagrams and stuff like that so okay so over here we're gonna create same way you do a furnace and we've got a machine block see we've got one there we've got our second one now so that's our machine block so we've got all the components we need except now the thing that we need is an electronic circuit so electronic circuits are a little bit trickier because what we need to make those is uh, we need some copper cables first. So copper cables, the easiest way that I can think of to show you how to get your first few. Uh, later you can create machines that will do a bunch. Sorry, that's a tree tap I just built, by the way. So it's five blocks in that shape. And then what you're going to need to do is you need to go out into your world and you need to find rubber trees. So um, We've got a few that we'd built into a little forest nearby. You can kind of tell them. You see they have these little crazy little tops, right? You see these little the tops of the trees where the just one straight column going up. So those are rubber trees. Uh, and you can see that little area there. That is an area where there is a sticky resin. So if I click, right click on that, it creates a sticky resin for me. So there's one right there. So there I've got three units now. Uh, and then I can create a few more. So yeah, well, if you can find uh, these trees, it's super handy. What I normally do when I first find them is I try to take some of the, the uh, leaves off. 
knock off the leaves and if you get lucky you can find you can get a sapling and then you get a few saplings and you just plant them and you put them near where you need to be so and then when you've got enough you've got a little forest now once you've got your emc generator like we talked about in the last episode once you've got one of those built they're pretty low in emc so we can create more sticky resin for just 24 uh, units so we could throw these in there and it'll boom it'll automatically create a whole bag of them for us so if you take those and you put them in your iron furnace once again and let them go they will create a rubber so we need a bunch of rubber so there's one and we're going to need six of these to create our circuit. And then the other thing we're going to need is three pieces of copper. And so while that's going on, let me see if I've got any copper on hand. I probably don't. But I'm pretty sure there's some nearby. What I would suggest if you're doing the EMC thing is to have a chest or two nearby and have like what we call like a source block. So you keep one of everything. And then if you've got one of everything close by, you don't have to go far. See, I've got one copper here. So come over here, put the copper in here. Boom, I can create a bunch of copper. Now the important thing to remember is put your source block back when you're done with it. And then it's there the next time you need it. So we just created a bunch of those. So we've got four rubber there. Now rubber, again, is one of those things that can't be created uh, in the EMC. Sticky resin can, copper can't. Or sorry, rubber can't. But we can use machines to make rubber in a big hurry later. So I will show you that a bit later. Okay, so we've got six. Uh, and again, you can find all these recipes, but it, this one's pretty simple three of those three of those and it's created six copper cables for us okay so now we've got that uh, we've got our refined iron and we need a bit of redstone I think we need two redstone I've got one so we can create more if we need and so there you go we'll just create some redstone we only need two so uh, and then we take one refined iron we put it in the middle we put like that and then one two three four five and six and there you go we've got our electronic circuit so we take our machine block that we made earlier we take our cobblestone our three pieces of flint and our electronic circuit and there we have a macerator so we've created our macerator now the problem that we're gonna have right away is that we can't power our macerator yet so to power our macerator, we need to build a generator of some kind. And to start with, it's probably easiest to just build a straight up generator that you can power with coal. So for that, you're going to need another machine block. So eight more iron ingots turned into refined iron turned into a machine block. We just did that. That should be pretty easy. Uh, you need a furnace, just a cobblestone furnace. Again, I hope you know how to make those. And then the third thing that we need is a little bit trickier and that's the uh, RE battery and to make that we need tin so I've got some tin ore here uh, I don't have a block of tin there should have tin everywhere so I'm just gonna go and grab a piece of tin so of course you would just go mining you would get some tin and then you would have a piece of tin do we have a piece of tin anywhere here I'm not too concerned if I can't find a piece. I've got machines all over the place here that have loads of everything in them. Although I'm a little sad that I don't just have one that I can show you. So, uh, okay, so we're going to go over to the big machines and we'll get a piece of tin. I've turned all these things off for the time being. Uh, one of the later videos will show you how all this stuff works. So. So I have machines that basically do all the stuff that we're talking about doing here. So here you go. Here's uh, This is an energy condenser, and it's full, literally full of tin right now. So we're going to grab a few units of tin. The hazards of factories there. Okay, so we've got uh, our tin. We've got some redstone. And the other thing we need is actually more copper cable. So... Uh, I have a bunch of them made already, uh, and we did kind of just walk through making some, so I won't 
make you walk through that again but maybe when you're getting that first bit of resin you get a little bit more so you really need only one of them for this and then two pieces of redstone down the middle and then tin on either side and that makes an RE battery so if we put our RE battery there we put our furnace there and our machine block in the middle and that creates a generator now the other thing is if you keep you're gonna need a couple pieces of copper cable to power to start with later on you'll be dealing with higher energy levels and you have to worry about converters and stepping down the power and that kind of thing but to start with we're gonna go old school and we are gonna put in our macerator and we're gonna put in some copper cable the other thing you're gonna wanna have and again I probably don't have any brass on myself right now is you're gonna need some brass you're gonna make a wrench um, let's go get a wrench right now just to so that we're not coming back to do it later apologies I should have made one before we started here but it is what it is so uh, the wrench basically if you try to remove a lot of the Tekkit machines without a wrench uh, sorry, bronze is what I need, I believe. Is it bronze or is it brass? I think it's bronze. And we make a little Y-shaped. There you go. So we've got a wrench. So uh, as I was saying, if you try to remove a machine with just using a pickaxe or something like that, there's a good chance that that machine will break and it won't work anymore. It'll just go back to being a machine block and you'll actually have to make the machine again and then you'll be cursing yourself. So uh, you, what you do instead is you get your wrench out and you right-click and it'll make your machine uh, pop back up. Now there's a small chance that it will still break, but I wouldn't sweat it too much. So we put our generator, got our macerator, and in between the two, we put the two copper cables and they function as a power source. So this is a generator and it's run off of coal, uh, just as any other uh, yeah, furnace or, or such would be. So you can see we've got a big stack of coal. So if I were to put some coal in my generator, you can see that the, f the light went on. There's not going to be anything up here. If we had another RE battery, we could put it in there and it would actually fill up that battery with energy. But for now, all we want to do is put some power in here. So you can see the fire's going down and then it's going to grab the next one. And so the, once this is full, it is full and it's got I think I can't remember how many power units EU's but you can see here our macerator has this is all red it means it's powered okay so now at this point we've got a working macerator and we've got our energy condenser right next to it or pretty close to it so we could put one blaze rod in there we put our other five in here and this will very slowly start macerating them now if you're watching the last video we did this and it went much faster it's because we had uh, some overclockers and we had some uh, storage capacity and those are great things to have uh, and we will show you how to build those into your loop next but for now this is how you start right it takes a little while but then you got five of those you go back over to your other machine here you pop five of those in now you got two of these right you bring these back over here you put two more of those in and pretty soon you're gonna have a stack and mace raider just gonna run wild if you want every once in a while you could put a couple pieces of coal in your EC generator and you could burn off a couple of these to create more power to run your mace raider eventually we're gonna run them off solar but in order to get to that we've got a few more steps that we got to get through so um, for the time being, there you go. We've got, there's no more 10 more, so we bring those back over here and create five more blaze rods, which we bring back to this machine. So you see now we're up to nine. We're going to let those loop away. We've got lots of power in there. I'm just going to head over here. I'm going to show you my little setup now that we've kind of discussed how to build that. We will go through how to do it electronically in the next video. Uh, sorry, not electronically, uh, using tubes and that kind of thing. So we'll talk about both transport tubes and pneumatics. So this is a pneumatic system that you can see here. So I've actually taken a few chunks out of it here. We were having some lag issues, so we were checking to see what was causing them. I can put these tubes back in. 
because we know it was not them that was causing the problem. So I've got all kinds of stuff going on here that we will explain at a later point, and I think we might have taken our timer out here too. But basically the system we were just looking at, so here, this one, see this one's jam-packed full. So we've got a blaze rod, we're creating blaze rods, lots and lots of them. You can see the blaze powder that came in here. And then we've got, uh, this is permanently on for some reason. Why is that permanently on? Interesting. Uh, we've got uh, a filter. This is called a filter. So, and it's told that it can only use blaze rods to take 64 blaze rods at a time. And it brings them through the pipe and it either sends them over to this other part here. We'll talk about that later. Or this chest. This chest gets stuff pumped out of it through this pipe down into, this is a macerator. Rotary macerator. This is a fancier macerator. Uh, it's the, the next step up. It goes a lot faster. Uh, I just put a diamond in here so that it wouldn't uh, clog up with uh, blaze rods because sometimes if there's too much stuff coming in, you get that going on. So you can see there's 64 blaze rods here. Uh, it's created two units of blaze powder. And then there's another, you can see right here, there's another filter that would then allow this to move forward there. So here's the mystery. Why is this just on? Some of you are probably three steps ahead of me and have figured it out already, but let's see if we can figure out why this is just permanently on okay so we what we had there was uh, we have the redstone and it should be at two second time intervals so you should see this pumping every time but for some reason it's not it's just staying on that's interesting I'm not sure why that is so, uh, where did my timer run off to? Things are being a little wonky here, hey? Things are just kind of disappearing on me. Here's my timer. Oh, it's because I have the black hole ring. That's why. I had a black hole ring, a black hole, black hole band inside of my alchemy bag. So anything that pops up, it automatically throws that into that bag. So things look, just look like they were disappearing on us there. So... So now you can see there it's giving it a pulse. So that pulse fires that filter. See, as soon as I put it there, it made it permanent. That's interesting. Is it because of the glowstone? I don't know. Maybe, but we're going to get rid of that glowstone just in case. I don't think so. And so I will show you here what's going on. Yeah, maybe it was the glowstone. Okay, so this was running over to here. And then my timer stopped. Huh. Mysteries. Curious mysteries. So, I think what we'll do, just to simplify this, and someone's going to write my problem, the answer to my problem down in the comments but uh, so what I can do is I can just create two separate filters to or not filters but uh, put a timer in here that'll just fire that guy every time he goes around it'll fire that when it needs to be fired which it doesn't right now this one is now firing because of that so you can see these are our blaze powder getting pushed forward in here and you can see it's now creating a bunch of those every time when some come in and it's actually pumping them out faster than it's getting them this machine is getting filled up right now with blaze powders I've actually disabled this machine here I'll show you what that does uh, at a later time this basically takes those blaze powders that we don't need and fires them off down through the factory into a bunch of other things so once this gets filled up it will fire all of them down to this chest, which is already full. This is just waiting for this macerator to make some room. So you can see here, this rotary macerator is going very quickly, creating lots and lots and lots of those. And then it, through this filter again, we told it just 32 blaze powders through here, boom, and they go back into there. Uh, and we also have power right here. This is the one of the bigger power units, and it's actually powering just that macerator and its power is actually under the floor here and it 
connects back to our giant power source in the middle. Anyways, this is a little further down the path. I just wanted to show you guys that. Uh, we'll figure out why we're having weird redstone issues later. But back here in our world, we have our machines. So now our macerator's done macerating. We've got 45 blaze powders. So we went from having a single blaze rod to now we're at 23 of them. We could take those 23. We could put those back into our macerator, make sure that we've got some power going on here. We got, we're good there. So we're actually creating energy out of nothing, which is against the laws of physics. And that energy will eventually let us build anything we want. Um, so with the energy condensers, there's also a way to power those so that they automatically start generating whether there's input materials or not. And that's probably a, a thing for another day as well, but I can show you very quickly. So there's these other units here, right? And they basically, whenever there's sun on them, they start generating uh, energy and they go through this guy. This is a, like a relay, and so you can use a bunch of those, and they can all power together to power this guy. So you can see there's two of the black guys and a couple of the golden dudes, and they are all powering this chest right here. So if we were to put something in as a source, something big, say a diamond, which we'll do right now, you can see it's already got a bunch of energy. Um, maybe we'll put the this dark matter in here because it uses tons of energy. So you can look at that. Even though it's used a bunch of energy, regardless of whether there's stuff in here or not, it will automatically start uh, powering itself. I can show you very quickly. To that end, down here in the basement, we've got a couple of these what we call power flowers. So there's an energy condenser right in the middle of those, and it's told to create blaze rods. And so as it's creates blaze rods it's spitting them out okay there's filters on top of those and it basically fires those back upstairs so we can follow those back up it goes past this floor back up to this floor and right now again this piece was taken out of the puzzle so it creates uh, this machine is uh, a sorting machine, so it's got blaze rods. So this thing is just creating, taking the blaze rods, turning them into blaze powders. Those pla blaze powders get sent through our machine system to wherever they're needed to fire these machines. So if this machine needed some more energy to create the wood planks that it's creating, then it would get some. So for instance, if we actually literally just took some of these blaze powders out, um, oh, sorry, of course it's Phil because there's so much energy in that one. But see how they all tried to come over here right away? Uh, okay. If they can't find anywhere to go, they'll go back. They'll bounce back into the machine or they'll bounce back through the system to one of my other places. And we can talk about the giant factories and everything it does uh, another time. Anyways, we've probably gone on long enough for part two here. So part two is creating a manual... Um, blaze rod loop. Uh, as I said before, you can also do this with bone meal and bones. Uh, it'll do the same thing. So we've got 45. We're going to get to the point where we're going to have to start emptying this thing out because it'll get to be full stacks. So this is the 45 we started with and we created, what was it, 22 of those. And the 22, we still have half of the 22 that we created there. Again, with this system, you're going to have to watch your generator and make sure that you're giving it more coal from time to time to keep powering it. Uh, and so I think in the next chapter, what we'll do is we'll talk about how to create one of those little loops like I just showed you. Maybe we'll do one with transport pipes first, and then after that we can work on pneumatic pipes. The pneumatic pipes need a whole different system of energy to create them, alloy furnaces and things like that. So it's a bit much. I get why people don't want to show you all the steps. Uh, if you did enjoy the video, if you're having fun watching these, if you're learning from them, that's awesome. We would love to hear from you. Any kind of comments are really appreciated or a like or a subscribe. And, uh, hopefully this has helped you out and shows you what you need to do to create some energy to get going with your tech it dreams. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, this has been uh, Dave from Wear games and have a great day. Bye.